Today I'm going to work on um, getting this uh, Rose engine adapter plate mounted to the lathe and maybe we'll work on getting the headstock mounted. I've decided to use the extra headstock for the Rose engine attachment and the reason is is the back uh, this this headstock's meant to pump you, the the spindle will move in and out and this headstock has a threaded bearing that adjusts the preload for the cone bearings on this so this headstock will not pump um, so we're gonna set up and we're gonna deal with problems as they arise the very first problem that I have is the overhead drive shepherd's crook is supposed to go through this hole and they don't quite line up this needs to be notched out here just a little bit so the so that the shepherd's crook will fit through there so I'm gonna take it over to the machine shop and we're gonna set it up on the mill and we're gonna uh, move that hole over we're gonna start with a sixteenth of an inch and see if that works I've been working a lot of overtime lately and I've been cleaning up and moving stuff around in my shop and my poor mill has become a catch-all for a lot of stuff. I'm going to have to clean it up before I can do much. still on the table you can see the high spots some bozo dropped something on the table here okay I got my mill all cleaned up and I got the rose engine attachment bolted down um, I had to shim it up there's little doodahs that hang down so those had to clear the table so I Put it on some one two three blocks and i'm using these these adjustable clamps that i made this this bolt here lets you tip the clamp up or down and, and level it out they're they're really handy i made a set of those about three or four years ago and i use them all the time i got my uh, criterion boring head set up and I got the diameter set on it real quick. Kind of my plan is I'm going to enlarge the hole a little bit and then I'm going to move it uh, that way about, um, I'm going to go an eighth, maybe three sixteenths and uh, I'll see if that gives me enough clearance. We'll go try it on the lathe and see if the uh, overhead drive rod fits through there. I've got the hand wheel engaged. You, you tighten up this uh, knob here, and it lets you it lets you move this knob and move the spindle up and down by turning this knob, so you can have a little bit finer feed.
I'll out one more cut and uh, then we'll start moving the table. Okay, this next cut, I moved the table towards me, so it's going to cut the back side of the hole, and it's going to start moving the hole back. I'm going to do uh, two 16th inch passes, and then we'll go over and test fit it and see what we got. I, I was kind of guessing to begin with because the overhead drive would not fit through the hole initially, and it looked like it was not in the right spot so I'm making the hole bigger and then I'm moving it a little bit hopefully this will uh, I won't have to put it on here too many more times but uh, this will give us something to go by Okay, there's the hole freshly bored out. We will go over and see if it fits on the lathe next. Okay, I got the overhead drive rod in and the plate, it fits, but the, the uh, overhead drive rod hits just a little bit so I'm going to take it back over and we'll set it back up and I'll take one more cut out of there just to relieve it I don't want it to touch the plate okay I got it set back up again I just touched off on the two sides and on the back you can see the little the little witness line where I touched off and then I just moved the table back uh, another sixteenth of an inch so we'll take another quick cut on here and uh, go try it again <laughs> Okay, here's the first time this plate's been mounted on this lathe. It, uh, the overhead drive rod goes through. We've got clearance all the way around. 
the overhead drive rod so we got we got that problem out of the way um, and we got a couple more problems we need to figure out okay um, we got the plate the rose engine adapter plate so that it will fit on the machine there's clearance around the rod for the overhead drive because we'll need that so that'll be good the next problem that I have is from the center of the pivot to the top of here is uh, seven eighths of an inch now this is the front of the headstock and the way the casting is on it the on focus the casting is notched out right here well below seven eighths of an inch so even if everything was good I would not be able to center drill a spot right here so that it could pivot on so what I'm planning on doing is machining this out squaring it up making it nice and then I will drill and tap the bottom of this for a block that I can center drill the end of it and make the pivot for the headstock on this and that'll go along with the modifications on this end I'll do the same thing I got to notch that out where that X is that has to be removed so that it will fit into this plate and then I'll have to do the same thing with the, making a an adapter uh, or a pivot point that I can bolt onto here so that this will this headstock will rock back and forth so that's the plan for the next installment I think another problem that I have is in the front it's not too much of a problem underneath the pivot right here there's a there's a spot for a bolt so I can attach the front of this plate to the lathe bed the problem is in the back this plate has these two bolt holes and they protrude right above the frame of the lathe and I haven't quite decided what to do about that um, I can maybe make a bracket that goes up and over that it bolts into that attaches to this but I haven't quite I haven't quite decided what, what the best route would be it needs to be it needs to be attached that's for sure because we don't want we don't want that moving but I don't know the best way to do that yet if anybody has any ideas uh, let me know